Morph Compound Object. The Morph tool is used to create morphing of objects. So I'm going to bring change one object into another shape. Um, so what we have is this original object, which is sphere number one. I made the sphere, then I right clicked on it and changed it to an editable poly. Then I made two copies of that sphere using the clone command in, in the edit. So up in the edit I cloned those two and then I had two more spheres. Then I edited each sphere. All I did was I selected the selected with a select rectangular selection set and I stretched each one in two different directions. Uh, the reason behind this is that uh, in order to morph, we need to have a mesh, a patch, or a poly object, and they need to have about the same number of, of vertexes. So by copying the original sphere, I end up with the same number of vertexes. So now what I want to do is I want to come over and I want to uh, go and toggle my auto key uh, button. So I'm going to turn on my auto key. So I'm recording my animation at this point. And then next, I'm going to select my object. And I'm going to go up to Create. And I'm going to come down to Compound and go to Morph. When I bring that up, I end up with this Pick Targets and Current Targets Rollouts. So what I want to do next is I want to jump over here into my Go To Frame. I'm going to set it to 35 and I'm going to hit enter. Now I'm going to go up and pick target button. I'm going to use this pick target and I'm going to pick this sphere number two and I'll pick. All right. Now I'm going to come down and I'm going to set this valley down here at my go, go, to, tar, uh, go to frame. And I'm going to set that to 70. I'm going to hit enter. And then I'm still on picking targets. So I'm going to come over here and pick on my sphere number three. I'll pick on that. And at that point then, I've now selected both of my targets. And what I need to do is i got to come down into my auto key button and toggle off my toggle auto key mode. So I turn that off. Now what I want to do is I'm going to go back to this, go to the start, and I'm going to play my animation. So I go to play my animation, and boom, boom, boom. You can see that I am now changing my object, morphing it from one shape, morphing it into the other shape.